And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It is bright, it is late, it is Friday afternoon. Wanted to wrap it up with the daily close, closing up here in a day and after the volatility surrounding the FUD with the Bitcoin ETF, uh, apparently the SEC had not nice things to say about good old BlackRock's ETF. So we had a lot of volatility surrounding that event. And uh, what do we see here? A indecision candle. And what I was looking at, Bitcoin on the daily time frame, momentum is beginning to wane. So I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, the wicks on both sides get tested for this daily candle and a little bit more volatility. Uh, volatility is starting to wane. So you would expect price to, you know, perhaps... Uh, come down, we'll uh, cross back up above 30,688 tomorrow. So is everybody going to dump it in everybody's face and call it a dump party? Or is uh, Bitcoin going to take the upside route over the weekend and surprise everybody? Why is today important? Well, we have a six month closure happening in about two minutes. And what does that mean? Well, a six month uh you know, girthy green candle like this typically implies more upside in the coming six months. Probably going to be some volatility surrounding that. Um, let's look at it on the BLX index. And you will see uh, six month hidden bullish divergence confirmed and targeting a move up into the green box over the next six months. So can we still come down? Yes, uh, absolutely. But uh, a bit of a nuanced interpretation there for the six month time frame, And again, that is a very powerful time frame. So you would expect, um, <clears throat> you would expect, you know, uh, price continuation there. What else do we have? A uh, weekly time frame. CMEs are gonna close today, which is Friday. You also have the six month and the quarterly uh, also closing today. So let's just check in on the three month and that is a bullish continuation candle if I have seen one before. Um, what else do I wanna bring up? Some of the other charts today. Ave having a huge run today. Um, up another 11% today and this one, does look like it wants to break out, uh, breaking the daily downtrend and uh, a major horizontal coming in on the weekly. Ave is something I would keep my eye on um, if you are into decentralized lending uh, type currency, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. And you got Bitcoin Cash really taking it to the moon here. Um, this one up 267% off the lows. And where is it going to stop? Well, according to the daily, we have uh, got the freshest high of the year and a huge volume candle. Is it going to go for more? Well, trend continuation. Let the trend be your friend till the end of the trend. You've got two days just racking it up there and three days as well. Do we even have any higher term time frame down days? No. So you wouldn't you know, the higher term time frames are going to rule the market at this point. So I would suspect Bitcoin Cash has a little bit more in the gas tank. And um, yeah, if we start to get above here, well, um, I'd say 400 bucks. That's a nice round number, probably a even number of contention um, if this one wants to keep going. Pepe also having a big day. OK, so we got the daily close. For Bitcoin, it was an indecision candle here. Let's see if we get any volatility on the lower term time frames. And yeah, this is essentially we're breaking out of the range here or the descending triangle trying to hit the next measure move up and uh, BlackRock news, right? And a little bit of a dump party grabs all the liquidity, runs it back up to the upside. So not a whole lot here, not a whole lot here. I don't know if this is helpful for anybody. If you did enjoy the content, smash the like button and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with, you know, not tomorrow, but Monday with a little more in-depth dive. It seems like uh, there's a lot of FUD surrounding the market. Like look at the Titanic, <laughs> look at the Titanic. Um, JP Morgan uh, is getting fined for all kinds of, you know, nasty things. The SEC throws out this lawsuit at Coinbase tries to drop the market and then BitRock, Bit, BlackRock files a huge ETF. So I would, I would suspect with the, the, you know, 
the hype and the volatility, you know, some trend continuations. With that, I'm going to sign out. Have yourself a happy 4th of July and a blessed weekend. Take care.